Hi guys, Dustin with Floor It, and today I wanted to talk to you about carpet backings and even more specifically pads. So we talked about that a little bit in some of my previous videos, but wanted to catch more specifically on soft back versus action back, and I don't have one sitting right here for you, but high pec backing. So what those backings will do is they're gonna give you differences in performance from a wrinkling standpoint. So some traditional backings, traditional action back here, uh, or there used to be jute back years ago, which you'd actually take and they would cut it in, and just a little fun fact for you, you'd cut it all in, and then they would steam it, and that steam would cause the backing to shrink, and that would be actually how they would pull it tight. And so today, with these new action back type carpets, what we're gonna see is a stretch in design, or soft backs, and every other different type of backing is pretty much stretched into place. So what we're gonna see though with the action back and why sometimes we see wrinkling problems is the difference with the pad. So if we go too soft with the pad, puts a lot of extra stress on the backing every time you walk across that backing. And so of course you're sinking into the carpet, right? Well, again, that's gonna pull and stretch on that backing. And like a pair of leather boots, as you walk and traffic it, this backing will actually go through a break-in stage. And so sometimes during that break-in stage, especially in large environments and heavy traffic environments, you will see some wrinkling. And so we actually have to come out, restretch the carpet. Um, again, depending on how, what time frame that was, if it was within five years, we'll do it for free. We do do a five year labor warranty, but anything after five years, we would be again having you guys pay for again. So another option for you might be to go to Softback. Softback is gonna offer a no wrinkle warranty because like a pair of tennis shoes, when you put it on, they're soft and they're pliable and they're nice and comfortable, of course, right away. You don't have to break them in so much. And that backing, when we stretch it for the first time, we get a better initial stretch. And so, of course, again, holds that stretch better. So because they're less prone to wrinkling issues, the manufacturers are gonna offer you a no wrinkle warranty. But back to pads. So pads, back years and years ago, the Carpet and Rug Institute did a bunch of extensive testing. And in that testing, they found there was kind of a bell curve effect that they ran into. So you could go too soft and you could go too dense. If you went too dense, it'd be like laying the carpet right on the concrete. There's no bounce back to the fiber. And so you get a lot of premature matting and crushing in the fibers. They lay down a lot faster. But you go too soft, where you got a lot of nice spring, a lot of softness, bounce back. But sometimes, again, it was too stressful on the backing, as we talked about a moment ago, and would cause wrinkling issues. So obviously, we wanna still stay on the softer side for comfort reasons, of course, but we have to be careful, depending on traffic, and again, the backing design, how soft we can go. So keep that in mind, again, six pound, we can do light traffic, basements, bedrooms, things of that nature. Eight pound, like this piece here, that's gonna be how tightly compressed the foam is. Eight pound density is gonna be better in your high traffic living rooms, hallways, stairways. And then there's even pads like this one here where they're actually made out of a memory foam. So memory foam is just a little more resilient foam, a little better bounce back, a little softer underfoot for the same eight pound density. But when it comes down to, again, overall performance, that pad does last and wear a little bit better. And then a lot of times when we go to the top end, while I'm on the subject, we get into moisture barriers. And moisture barriers are really cool on a pad because it keeps that stain when you spill something or the dirt or any of that stuff from filtering through the carpet and filtering through the pad down in your subfloor where you'll never get it out. So from a standing stain or any of that kind of stuff, not only now are you gonna get the stain out of the carpet, but you'll have to get it out of the pad. When you put that moisture barrier down, that now no longer is gonna penetrate way, way easier for you to get that stain out or even the dirt out of the carpet because it's not as deep in the pile. So, but with that guys, that's pretty much a good cover on the backings and pad.